Well, I, I don't know anything about her medical history as far as uh, how recent it was, how severe it was, how healed up she was when she came back. I did see the kick. I saw the footage online uh, today uh, that it looks as though somebody from, was recording from the audience. And the kick looked like it was perfectly well placed between the shoulder blades. Uh, it did look solid. Uh, it didn't look stiff. And so I, I could find no fault with what Sasha Banks had done from the kick standpoint. Um, I, but as I was watching it, I kept playing through my head and trying to put myself in that situation. And uh, I wondered, like, I remember when Gary Wolf broke his neck, or uh, his neck was broken in a match with me, I should say. Uh, and what the doctor said afterwards, uh, they said that had he not, his neck not been so thick, and muscular, when it happened, he would have been paralyzed or dead. Um, men have, just physio physiologically speaking, much stronger, much stronger musculature to be able to 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 you know take that kind of an impact uh, than say a woman would. And you, and you look at like uh, Paige or Sasha Banks, either one, you know, very beautiful women, very well built women but their musculature is just not that of what a man's would be. And you have to ask yourself when you couple that with the fact that Paige was just coming back from, from what I guess was a fairly serious neck injury. Uh, I don't know how recent it was or, again, how, how healed up she was or what the prognosis was. But there's no question in my mind that that must have played some kind of role in that, uh, uh, you know, and her getting re-injured in that. Uh, from what Mike Johnson reported, the same exact spot was done the night before and went off perfectly well with no injury, no problems. Um, and again, I'm watching the video that I watched, and I watched it probably 10 or 15 times. It didn't look to me as though Sasha Banks had done anything incorrectly. Um, just one of those things. you know. When you're, you're, I, I think if nothing more, it's, it speaks more to the underlying thing that has always amazed me about professional wrestling. When you see somebody that goes through a 20, 30, 30 plus year career and gets through it pretty much unscathed as far as any really serious injury, you know, a broken neck or, you know, the, you know, some very serious injury that stops their career. Uh, it amazes me all the more to the, in, in such an imprecise science that these men and women are able to go out there and do that for that length of time and not get seriously injured. Um, but I think there's the cautionary tale that when you see something like this, with all the different, you know, uh, uh, contributing factors, the, the pre-existing neck injury, uh, et cetera, that, you know, what what is being done in that ring on a night-to-night -night basis can be and is very, very dangerous, if not done by, professionals and even then in the best of circumstances very serious injuries can can happen you know so you know for the people that want to throw the word fake around so often keep in mind that these men and women are going to the ring on a night-to-night -night basis to entertain you and the risk of injury to them serious bodily injury is very great and the fact that it's done so often without injury is more speaks more to the professionalism of the people that are involved and to just, let's face it, just good luck that that, that doesn't happen more often. I, I, I'm i hoping that, and I, again, I've, I've got nothing on, on inside information as to the seriousness of the injury to Paige. Uh, you know, if, if, if it is, I wasn't able to find definitively online that it was the end of her career. And I'm hoping that more to be the case. But, uh, you know, it just it speaks, I think, you know, uh, just taking a step back and looking at it, it speaks more volumes about how really dangerous what we do on the, in the ring on a night-to-night -night basis really is. And I, I wish Paige the best. And I, I would hope, again, from what I saw, that I was reading that, you know, there were some fans, like, trying to throw heat Sasha Banks' way. And it certainly didn't look to me as though Sasha Banks, from what I saw in that clip, had done anything improperly.